Hey guys, so in spite of uh, the fan messing up on this uh, Me Creator 2, I went ahead and I kept using it, and for some reason the fan came back, so it's still working. But uh, let me show you exactly what I've been hearing. I'm going to take my task cam, I'm going to set it for all the way up on the sound level. That's sitting right directly in front of the printer. So we'll compare the sound of that with uh, what's going to happen when I get done doing this upgrade. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. There we go. So you, it's something that that I've been wanting to do for a while, uh, especially since one of my viewers had, had decided to go ahead and do this upgrade. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the fan. I'm going to uh, put a different fan underneath it. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I went ahead and I did the feet, so to give it a little bit more clearance underneath. So I'm going to go ahead and get into this and see how I can do it and see if, it, if it's even possible, which I'm sure it is because I've seen it done. So I, I'm just hoping I got the right stuff to do it. So what it is, I went past fries and I picked up this 80 millimeter Tri-Cool. It's a three-speed fan by Antec. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a shot. Uh, hopefully that'll do the trick. I really want to go with RGB, but... With that much room underneath it, and I don't think it might be coming out very good anyway. <laughs> okay, guys, give me a moment here, and I'll get right into it. Okay, guys, so for starting out, what I'm doing is I'm taking, it's my H 2.5 millimeter bit. Uh, it's actually a uh, security bit. It's got a hole in it, a 2.5 millimeter hex. And I'm going to go ahead and take the bottom off this. Now, I did unplug the, the power cord to it. So that way I know there's no power getting into it. Let's get this cover off and just see exactly what we got to deal with here. I've always wanted to take the bottom of, it, of this off anyway, so it gives me a good opportunity to, to look into it. Okay, as you can see I've got a little bit of filament that got down inside here it looks like. So I'll get all that kind of cleaned out. Now there's our board right there. I see I guess some filament got in with the fan it looks like. That's probably the reason why the fan's been messing up. And also the nuts have worked off of it as well. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove that fan completely. But uh, now what I need to do is I need to figure out where I'm going to mount the new fan. Uh, now as you can see this has a hole already but it's for the power supply. I would rather have the fan closer to the board itself. Um, so I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to, well, first of all, that, that should be behind there, I'm sure. Let's go ahead and kind of get that pinned back into place. There we go. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure I'm putting the fan right around in this area. Um, yeah, move that a little bit more there. I think maybe up in here. I think that'll be the safe thing. So I'm going to do some measuring here in a moment. And uh, I did pick up a uh, hole cutter, a hole saw. I'll bring that out here and give it a shot. Okay, guys, so what I've determined is this is going to be about the right position for this fan, right about there. And what I did is I went ahead and I picked it up and I kind of positioned it where I think it should be inside the cavity there. And I want to get it as close as I can to the board, but I want to make sure that it's not going to interfere with any of the wiring. So I think we're just going to hold it about like that. That should center it between the those pieces. And that, that will work. So as far as measuring, I'm just going to do it like that. It doesn't have to be exact. And what I'll do is I'll uh, mark the center location and go ahead and drill it. I'd love to just go do it right here, but at the same time, I hate to get my table all dirty. Uh, you know what? For the sake of the camera, I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to go ahead and move the printer so I don't get everything into it, though. Okay. So I kind of got the table cleaned off a little bit here. So I'm just going to estimate that being the spot right there. Just want to give it a mark. Now what I'll do is I'll just take a couple boards, set right under where I'm needing to do it and let's hope for the best here 
Everybody tells me this so, uh, this uh, hole saw will work for it, so we'll find out here in just a moment. You know what really, really helps? Is if you have a fully charged battery when you start this whole thing. <laughs> There we go. <sighs> I'll do some cleanup here real quick and then we'll get back into it. Actually, before I go that far into it to do all the cleanup, I'm just going to go ahead and start getting everything lined up for the screws. Just go ahead and take a sacrificial cloth here because this cloth is never going to be good for anything ever again. <laughs> I got a lot of cleanup to do after this. I knew I should have just took it outside, but anything for the camera, right? <laughs> oh, let's see here. I want to get this in a position where I can make sure that fan's going to be good. Let's kind of center it. I could have went with a little bit larger hole saw, but I just didn't want to spend the money to go that much bigger. I only need to I think the largest you can go is uh, here in America be uh, two and three quarter inch. Uh, the two and a half, it's, I mean, it's only a quarter inch difference on the whole size, so I think that's going to be just fine anyway. What's funny is that it only came with three screws for the fan, so I'm not going to have to worry about drilling three holes in this in this thing. So let me figure out what size drill bit I will need. So that's a three sixteenths bit. I don't have a uh, metric set to work with, so I will use it. Now, what I think I will do is actually take a smaller bit and just uh, to scratch the paint, so I'll know where the where those holes will go. So let me just do a quick so eyeball this thing, kind of get it in the right position. There we go. That scratched up clean enough where I can see where to drill at. So I'll go ahead and get these drilled real quick. Okay, so that takes care of the dirty work. So, like I said, I'm going to take this out real quick. Um, I'm going to take a file to the ragged edge that's on here. And I'll grab a vacuum, clean this up a little bit, and we'll get back into it. But yeah, I want to clean that edge up. I don't want to get my finger hung on any of that. So I'll be back with you guys in just a moment. Okay, so I got everything kind of cleaned up here. Uh, still not 100%, but I'll go back there and give everything one final cleaning before I put everything back together. Now, the thing is, I want to make absolutely sure I got the fan going the right direction. I believe that's the side that it's going to be blow, blowing toward, I believe. I, I'm not 100% sure. Normally it's whatever side the, the label's pointing toward, but this one it's also got the printing on here, so I just want to verify, make absolutely sure I'm doing it the right direction. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug the fan, which is going to be this wire right up here. So I'm going to unplug that. I'm going to plug this fan into that slot. You're kidding me. Okay, so it appears that the fan that I picked up has the wrong connector on it. So what I'm going to have to do is create my own connector. All I need is to do is hook up these two wires right here, the red and the black, off of this part right here. And just need to hook those up to the red and the black on this. So, <laughs> now you're going to see how, how bad I can solder. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 
Well, it's not the prettiest solder joint in the world, but it'll get me by for now. I will probably go back in and and uh, do it the right way. I was going to take and use uh, the shrink tubing, and I cannot find my shrink tubing anywhere. And it is late at night, so I am going to do this the way my dad taught me years ago. Electrical tape. <laughs> <laughs> it's nasty, but it does the job. So let's go ahead and tape this up, and then I can come back at a later time whenever I either get the right connector and everything or whatever. So, now let's see if I got it on the right way. Okay, now for the moment of truth. Okay, fan came on. It is blowing toward the label. Now this fan's got a three-way switch. No louder than that is, I'm going to leave it on high. That way it'll pump out as much air as possible into that cavity. Oh yeah, there's a lot of air circulation right there. So let's just go ahead and turn this off. And I will route the wire into a safe position and get screwed on there. Actually I'll screw it on first and then we'll, we'll do the routing. Perfect. Okay, now let's go ahead and turn this printer back like it was originally. <clears throat> so what I want to do is I want to take my wire and I want to run it down this behind here, underneath, kind of, bring it behind that post. Plug it in. And you know what? While I am here, I'm going to snap a picture because I have another one of these boards I'm getting ready to use on my other printer. And I just kind of like to have an idea of what it looks like. Good enough. If I need to, I can get back into it, but for now that'll work. Okay, so I just want to make sure that wire is going to be all right, tucked away. I think that's going to be just fine. And I like that wire kind of staying over here out of the way of the fan. Go. And where did I put my other screws? Hang on for just a second, I grabbed those. Kind of moved everything around so I wouldn't suck it up with a vacuum cleaner. <clears throat> I know this bit's not meant for the screwdriver, but it seems like it's working all right. I probably could have got by with the original fan a little bit longer, but the way it was stopping the other night, I didn't want to take that chance. I'd rather have the cooling going on and everything working right than to take a chance on overheating something. Okay, 
Let me flip it back over here to the side. I cannot see them on the wrong side here. There we go. Okay. As you can see, come on. That will work. And I'm feeling air coming out the hole there. I'm feeling air coming out there. All the little holes I'm feeling air coming out, so I know it's getting enough airflow through it, so it should be good. So let me go ahead and flip it back over, get everything hooked up, and let's start another print. Sounds a lot different. <laughs> let me bring my meter over here close by. Set it right back where it was at the very beginning. Right about there. You can still hear it, but it's nothing like it was. And if I wanted to, I could actually flip that switch down a little bit and make it where it uh, be a lot quieter. But I'm happy with that. I think it's going to be getting a lot better cooling like that too. Okay, so let me get a print going here. I'll see you guys in just a moment. Well guys, there we have it. I'm here told this is going to be the last dog I have to do. I believe this was dog number six. So that's going to be dog number seven. And then everybody should be perfectly happy with all their doggies around here. <laughs> My family, as soon as they saw the video, had to have dogs. So I've been printing them out ever since. Anyway guys, um, you know, I had to make some sacrifices. I didn't intend for it to go the way it did. I was hoping the fan would just plug into the board. It didn't. So I had to sacrifice the connector off the old fan, which, let's be honest, it was annoying me from the very beginning with the noise, but at the same time, the way it, when it started locking up, it was time to change it out. It's, I didn't want to take that chance and burn up the electronics on this, on this printer. So that's all switched out, and we're good to go. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, please subscribe. I sure appreciate it. You can do that by clicking on the link over here. Don't forget to ring the bell too. That way you'll be notified when a video comes out. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, please click on my Patreon page over here. You can support the channel from there. If you'd like to check out one of my other videos, please give these a shot. I think you're going to love them. Oh yeah, you're going to like them. Have a great day and take care. Bye.